Today on Sly Guys, Fire Underwater. And I'm Ryan. Welcome to the Science Guys. Today, we're going to be showing you how to burn a sparkler underwater. Bling. The equipment you're going to need for this experiment is... A mason jar. Package of sparklers. A lighter, preferably a nice long barbecue lighter. And a little bit of tape. We're going to use medical tape because it's wider and it seems to get a better seal. Let's get set up for our experiment. Take a few sparklers out of the package and bunch them together, making sure that the ends of the sparklers line up. Take your tape and line it up close with the tip of the sparkler, making sure you leave a little bit of the ends free so that you can ignite the sparklers. Circle the tape around the sparklers while you're holding them together. Make sure the tape is put on tight and that each time you loop the tape around the sparklers, you overlap the previous loop of tape to ensure we get no gaps in our seal. Next, fill your glass container with water. Don't fill the container all the way to the rim or you may end up with water all over your table and floor. Now that we have our sparklers tied up and we have our jar full of water, we're ready to proceed. Now make sure only an adult's doing this experiment because it, we are playing with fire after all. Also make sure to do it in a well-ventilated or outdoor environment. For our safety equipment today, we're going to be using rubber gloves, safety goggles, and a lab coat or flame retardant apron. Now that we're out in the garage, we're in a well-ventilated area. Remember, you have to do this burn in a well-ventilated area like an open garage or outside because the smoke that comes out is quite nasty. All you can do next is use your barbecue lighter to light the top of your sparklers. As soon as they catch fire enough, you're going to dunk them in the water to see the result. As you can see from this reaction, the sparklers continued to burn even though they were submerged underwater. Let's watch that again, but let's turn off the lights this time. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. The type of reaction occurring in this experiment is called combustion. Combustion is the rapid reaction of a chemical with oxygen to produce oxides and heat. This cannot occur without enough oxygen. So how will sparklers burn underwater if they're in a liquid environment instead of an oxygen environment? Sparklers are coated with a chemical called oxidizers. Oxidizers are substances that when burned, release oxygen, and in this case promote combustion. A common oxidizer used for sparklers is potassium nitrate. When potassium nitrate is burned, it gives up one of its three oxygens, which is released into the water and bonds with a fellow oxygen to create a gas. The resulting equation of potassium nitrate looks like this. The tape we wrapped around our sparklers helps capture the released oxygen close to our sparklers, allowing the combustion to continue. If we do this without the tape, notice how the oxygen floats out of the container and is no longer available so the reaction cannot continue. The oxygen released allows the combustion of more potassium nitrate, which releases more oxygen, and this reaction repeats over and over and over until all the chemicals are fully burned off the sparklers. Sparklers are also coated with metal dust or flakes that when heated to a high enough temperature produce light. This is how the bright sparkling effect is created. Different metals will produce different colors. This is why fireworks can be created in multiple colors. We will be exploring what color certain elements burn in our next episode. So, today we learned about oxidizing materials and showed how sparklers can burn underwater. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And as always, if you have questions about this experiment or any questions about science in general, throw them down in the comment box below, and when we have new videos out, they'll show up on the side over here. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye. Here at Sci Guys, we're always curious how experiments turn out, so if you do these experiments at home, record them and submit them to us as a video reply to this video. But remember, always get your parents' permission before you submit any videos to YouTube.